Stephen Jill here. Hello. Welcome to the House Academy Show, entertaining real estate investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butala. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from sunny Southern California. Today, Jill and I talk about how to use housetank.com, landtank.com, and dealboard, which is on the back end of landinvestors.com to create lasting partnerships like many of our members have. That's not the title, but that's kind of my ad lib. That's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> I'd like to talk about something special, though. If you're listening right now, happy Christmas Eve. Do you know it's Christmas? Oh, no, I yeah, didn't know that. Exactly. That's why I have the red scarf on. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to have a hat on. I have one for you, too. Oh, you good. can decide if you're going to wear it or not. I'll wear it. Okay, good. I have a special hat for you, Santa. <laughs> oh, my God. I know where uh, you're going with that. I love hey, where you're going with that. Hey, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> it always comes down to that, everything. Yeah, yeah it kind of does. Before we uh, cool Jill off. Guess that's who we are. <laughs> who, now you know a little more about me. <laughs> hey, let's hurry up and get this done. Just kidding. <laughs> Before we uh, cool Jill off, let's Thank take you. a question posted by one of our members on the houseacademy.com online community. It's free. Okay. Chris asks, well, this is just going to tie right into the topic, yeah. isn't it? What's the best way to raise capital to close on houses and resell them? You know what? We'll just... Without giving away the whole show. We'll just roll into the right, the same. Here we go. Today's topic, we're, we're going to answer you, Chris. Today's topic, how to use house tank, land tank, and deal board to form lasting partnerships. This is the meat of the show. What are they? <laughs> What the heck is Jill's got this broken down into four little segments. Go I ahead. do. Here's what we're going to talk about. What are what are what are house tank, land tank, and the deal board? Why do we have them? Why did we create them? How do they work? And how can you benefit? So the backstory is this: many members have been finding great deals. You know that, especially houses, and have found a good deal and didn't have the money to lock it in. And I see it a lot of times too in not only our house academy online community, but in other house flipping online communities where people are like, gosh, I just can't get into the house game. I don't have the money. That's a barrier to entry to them, right? We looked at each other and our whole group, there's enough money out there. If you've got the right deal, there's enough money out there. There are people that are searching for these deals. We just need to put you guys together. So that is what these communities are. We created House Tank for House Academy, Land Tank for Land Academy, and the Deal Board for everything. That started it all as a way to connect uh, people with money and people with good deals so everybody could benefit. Now, and that's, so that's, now you know that went into why we created them. It was just like everything. It's a, based on you, our members and our community saying, Man, I wish I had $150,000 lying around. I can't believe this. I, I have all my money locked in here and this house deal just landed in my lap. And oh my gosh, I, I don't, there's no way I can assign it. I'm going to, I don't want to take that risk. I, I do what you guys do. I buy them outright. So I control the asset and I don't have the money to do it right now. Well, there's probably someone in our community, I'm sure of it, floating around that would love to hand you $150,000 lock in that deal, you're doing all the work, you already know the outcome, you probably have a buyer lined up, you just need to control the asset. And you guys can, you know, split the profit however you want to on the back end. It doesn't even have to be with houses, we don't even do 50-50. You know, there's a lot that goes into this, so. No good acquisition should ever go to waste. Mm -hmm. That's why these tools are here. Yeah, so how do they work? Do you wanna talk, do you wanna talk No, go ahead, that? I think okay. you're doing a great job. All right, so. We started with our, our suite, we called it the deal board, which is just a quick little bulletin board that's hidden. You have to be a member to get access to it, where we could post things like, I have a property, I have money, you know, things like- I have a like, rash. Yeah. That happens on there sometimes. <laughs> I need an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Dream it up. <laughs> Most of it, it's it could be a little Craigslist like, but- most of it's pretty uh, direct, but it's been a great tool for a long time for a lot of our members to post deals or post that they're looking for deals and partnership. 
we decided to, that was going so well and they need to see more about the deals. There's so much that goes into it. We decided to create these websites. For example, House Tank. So what you do is this is, uh, you can go look at the deals. A public can look at it, but only House Academy members have access to the full details. You know, the address, the APN, the uh, name of the person that has the deal, the seller information, you know, a lot of that's in there, but you have to be a member to get access to. But it's a place to go actually post a deal that goes out to our community. And just so you know, on House Academy, the Land Academy people are, are watching them too. You guys can house see tank. each other's, excuse me, House Tank and Land Tank, you guys can see each other's uh, deals that are posted if you want to pony up the funds and partner with somebody, which is really great. Because we're all kind of doing the same thing, but just with different property types. There's little nuances. Do you want to add? I would put, if I were a member, and I am a member, <laughs> um, I would be using the heck out of that. I mm -hmm. would put every single, pro even if I knew I had funding and I was doing it myself, I would put every single deal I was doing on house tank and land tank. Every single one. Because I would want, I want it, the, the, in the title here is to, to form lasting relationship, uh, partnerships. So there will come a time, I don't care how much access to capital that you have or how good at this you are, that you will need dough. And if you use the, there's nothing better than establishing a track record and establishing a long, let's say a short list of long-term partnerships. That's why we've created these tools. It's because you, you, you're gonna, if you are in this, you know this fact. If you send out 2,000 letters, you're going to get one or two deals. If you send out 4,000, you're going to get two or four and on and on and on. So if you start thinking like you have 20 million bucks in the bank, you're going to send out a bajillion letters and you're going to get a bajillion deals back. So it's not exponential. It's a one-to-one -one relationship constantly. So why wouldn't you grow your business that way? That's an excellent tip. I love what you just said. By posting 10 deals that you did in the last 90 days and they all show funded, I'm going to see what you're doing. I'm going to feel good about you and uh, you're, yeah. you're, you know, what you're capable of, the deals that you're already doing, how you completed. So that's, how does it really work though? So you, as a member, you go on and you post the property. You have, you need to have a purchase agreement, have it locked in, um, have, so you have equitable title. I would even, if you want to, I would even go so far as open escrow and, and then you can put that in there and now you're ready for just that last piece. Because then someone like myself coming along can go, wow, he's ready to go. Yeah. This is the missing piece. He loves it. Oh, gosh, I see. He's already got his marketing plan. He knows where he's going to sell it. Done. I, I, can't, I couldn't write a check fast enough then to lock in the asset. So that's how it works. And then it ties into my last thing. How can you benefit? I think you get it. <laughs> <laughs> I explain, hope you get it. Explain you, it to us. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to tackle that one? Well, I think it's cap. It's a Captain Obvious moment here. <laughs> you know, would you rather do one deal with your own money or fifty deals with other people's money and your money and get them all done and reap fifty percent of the awards? Yeah. You know, you can have a. You know the whole. It, it's so clear. This is the way to grow your business. To to and I don't mean take on debt. I don't mean to go get debt or leverage your house on a second position mortgage or utilize. Uh, this is not hard money lending. It's none of that crap. And it is crap. All of that is crap. Trust me. What, what you want to do is establish long term private money relationships with like kinded people who think like you. We're going to look at a deal and say, you know what? You're right. This deal is a great deal. I want to be your partner on it. I'm going to fund all of it or the vast majority of it or whatever makes sense to that money person, so you can grow faster. And, and But still do it intelligently. And it's still your deal. When you buy a house or a piece of land with hard money lending or any type of debt, you're setting yourself up to fail. You're adding this additional expense and a tremendous amount of additional pressure to get the thing done so you don't have to make that next payment. Uh, you're paying front-loaded points. Believe me, lenders are evil. I don't know how else to say it, you know, on one side and, and all the people that are fighting for lenders are people that couldn't get another job in that bank. The people that handle the lending portions of banks, trust me, or mortgage brokers themselves. Come on, I'd like go to, do something else. I'd like to see, what Why don't is, you become an investor? What? Just like a real estate agent. Time out. I have a question. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, this is good. I have a, I have a question. 
Tell us, Stephen, <laughs> what was their past <laughs> occupation? What did they fail at? Was it high school Everything. science teacher? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> No teachers it, I have respect for. Were they, we're teachers. Were they beat up as children? No. Were they not athletic? No, they just couldn't okay. get a real job in a bank. <laughs> oh. So they got sent down to the lending department. Like they couldn't make it as a teller? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just asking. I'm just joking. Kind the people of. At, the, at the rock bottom of the barrel in, an, in banks are asset manager, defunct asset managers they're the ones where they there's a bad loan made by one of the ding dongs that i'm talking about <laughs> and then the, at the bottom is, are the those uh sour asset managers yeah. so it's all bad you know lending if you really look at the history of lending and what lending was designed money was it was originally uh, happened from government to government so one government would lend an, a tremendous amount of money to another government, another country, who had the natural resources that the lender, or the first government, wanted. Let's say it's trees, or let's say it's like magnesium, some natural resource. So the idea is lend a tremendous amount of money, uh, money that, that they couldn't possibly uh, pay back. And when they default on the loan, because a very predictable number of people default on loans, you get it all. You get control of the asset and the, and the stuff that you lent against. So in an in an, in an inadvertent, sneaky, terrible, awful way, it's an acquisition for the lender. I and understand. an undervalued one at that. I know. That's why there's so many notes out there. This whole business of buying and selling notes, which I think is a great thing. It can be a great thing. You just got to be cool about it. Wow. I didn't think that was going to turn into this. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, let me, let me make this swing back around so it's positive. Partnerships are what you want. When two partners go into something, they both understand the risks. The money risk person understands the risks and accepts it. The other person is willing to do all the, all the work and locate the properties and buy and sell them and do it all. I think that's a beautiful thing. It's like a relationship like Joe and I have. We're just better together. So I don't think lenders think that way. Lenders are like, oh, I have all this money I have to lend. It's allocated. I have to do it at a certain percentage. I got to charge all these points. I got to place it. I got to place it. I got to place it. It's terrible. Sorry. It's okay. Dude, turn me off. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I have two last points, unless you have anything else you want to say. No, I don't. Turn okay. me off. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number one is, please don't use this to vet your deal. That's not what this oh, is. Yeah. Some people have said, I just throw things up there to see if they stick. Please don't do that. That's not what this is for. And that's the fastest way to tick off somebody because they're going to be like, I'm not going to look at any deal you have now because the last six you put up there stunk because you didn't know how to pick a good deal. So... Make sure it's a deal that you would really do if you had the money in your checking account right now. It's got to be that good. And then number two, I just want to wrap up with, again, you know, how can you benefit? There's two ways. You're new. You don't have the capital. Well, we do. We can do it and, and all the ways that we just described. And then number two is you're moving along. You're a member. And this is one of the reasons we're capping it, too. we got a pretty tight group. We're capping it at 500. I haven't, I've been leaking a little bit here and there. Um, but I haven't put out the big mass email and everything. But we're capping it. It's probably going to be at the end of this year. Five hundred members. Five hundred members. And then that's it. Uh, exactly. And we're crazy close to that. Exactly. But uh, you, as you grow along in your in your business and your wealth and your success, you're nuts if you don't be loaning money to other people and letting them do the work and build up she your. Oh, she doesn't mean loan. I don't mean loan. I don't mean she means partner partner with these other people like it's happening right now today <laughs> forgive me for using the l word <laughs> loan and love are those bad words or what love is great <laughs> okay love's okay the other l word excuse me i didn't mean that <laughs> but if you don't partner with the other people to grow your bank balance faster you're nuts and, and so many of our members are already doing this and it's awesome that's why it's here join us Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on the Land Academy Show. We're happy you could be with us here today on the House Academy Show where you can find us every Tuesday and Thursday. Tomorrow, the episode on the Land Academy Show is 33% of members quit their full-time job to, to land invest. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. How bad was that? In what way? Your rant? Yeah. Oh. 
It was good. One to ten. It was good. No, it was it was not good. Obviously, (laughs) (laughs) I haven't gotten you know real estate agents. We all get upset about that. Let me define good. It was not good, but boy, that was a good one. You really went there. (laughs) (laughs) I'm glad it wasn't about me. (laughs) I think there's a place for lending, but you know the way it's predatory. I think you know when you are lending money to somebody and you're like, yeah, they're never going to pay this back. Or you're just doing it because you, the person who's helping this person get a loan is just in it for the dough themselves. It's not natural. Like I just, you know, if you're going to make it, it's like real estate agents, you're making a commission. So you don't care. You're motivated by money. You're making a fee. I don't care if this person pays this thing off or not. I don't care really what happens to the bank. I'm a mortgage broker. I just want my two points or whatever ends up happening. It's, it's a lot better now. Because it's fixed. There's, you know, before the downturn was horrific. But we, we had, I had pe- we knew people before the downturn making eighty, hundred thousand dollars in loan fees a month. Tell me, in what world is that okay? It's not. So I'm just saying, partnerships is is the very foundation of two people getting together to make some deal happen that, and they're taking equal risk. That's normal and natural, and I think a real positive thing. I guess I made my point four times now. <laughs> All I heard is, I just want my two points. <laughs> there you go. I know what that is. Yep. Yes, you, you do. You have to be a certain age to understand that. A lot of movie, our listeners. Movie reference. Are, know what that is. They know exactly what that is. John Cusack. Happy Christmas Eve. The House Academy show remains commercial free for you, our loyal listener. So wherever you're watching, wherever you're listening, please subscribe and rate us there. We are Stephen Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property.